Hi, it's Steve Hargadon, and welcome to our welcome session. This is just an informal, short welcome to those of you who are getting set for a fun day of talking about gaming and education and learning. Uh, we're really delighted to, to be doing this today. Thank you for being here. If you're watching the recording, we sure hope you're having some fun. Thanks to Brain Pop. Terrific co-sponsor, co-chair, Allison Levy is co-chair and partner in this venture. Thanks to American School of Bombay as well for their support of Blackboard Collaborate for this oh-so-stable platform. Most appreciated. So for those of you who are here live, this is your chance to indicate where you're participating from. Look to the left of the map. You're looking for the star icon. Click on it twice and then click on the map. I'm traveling today. I'm in California. It's an early morning. Yanni's in Indonesia. We are look, we're waiting for you to put your star up, Yanni, because it will make us feel very international. So it's to the left of the map, second icon down, the star icon, you click on it twice, then you click on the map. Emotionally, I don't want to move on with that, that Indonesia star, but I think we will anyway. So, Allison, I'm going to bring up the Brain Pop site and turn some time over to you. Great. Thanks, Steve. Uh, very exciting to see that we have an international audience already. Um, and we're so appreciative that you're tuning in either first thing or last thing, depending on where you are. Um, I know we've had really great diverse representation over the past few nights during this gaming and education conference. And there's an incredible lineup of speakers throughout the day today. And all of them will be archived. So if you're not able to catch any of them tonight or during the day today or evening if you're in Indonesia, um, you, can, you can still catch them through the Gaming and Ed uh, website. Uh, I just quickly wanted to say a huge thank you to Steve Hargadon and Amy Brinkley, who have been doing a crazy amount of behind the scenes work to make this whole conference possible with along with so many incredible volunteers as well, and all of the speakers. Um, and I am thrilled to represent Brain Pop with my colleague Katya, who will jump on in a moment. And in case you're not aware, um, the, the website that Steve just brought up is part of Brain Pop. It's called Game Up. And it's a collection of what we feel are the best quality games that tie into curriculum. They all align to standards. And they are each bundled with support materials to make implementation for educators as easy as possible. So if you're interested in just starting out with game-based learning or you're looking for games that tie into what you're teaching, uh, GameUp is a, a good starting point. Um, and most of the games on here are by organizations that we partner with, including universities, museums, indie game developers, uh, nonprofits and many of whom are participating in this conference, like uh, Peter Stidwell from Learning Games Network, who is going to be presenting at 9 a.m. right after this welcome. Uh, and one thing that we're extremely passionate about at Green Pop is making sure teachers and students' voices are heard in the development and iteration of learning games. So I'm going to turn it over to my colleague Katya Hott, who will share a bit about our efforts in that area. Thanks again for joining us, everybody. Thanks, Allison. So I, uh, as Allison said, work with her at BrainPop, and I do a bunch of things there. And one of the things that I do is I work on user testing. And um, what that means in general is that I'm working with teachers and students to test out our new ideas and features at BrainPop and gather their feedback and bring that feedback back to our design teams. But what I also do, which is very much in that vein, but kind of exists outside of Brain Pop and is more for the community at large, is moderate um, this community called EdTech Bridge. And my partner in this is um, 
Steve Isaacs, who's a teacher in New Jersey. He teaches video game design, and he also teaches at a high school level game design courses at a virtual school. And he's been a veteran teacher for many years. And Steve and I have collaborated together on um, games and on curriculum and on other pieces of technology that either I've been developing or I am writing curriculum for. And I've brought that into Steve's classroom and had he and his students give feedback on the development process. And we, we did this for a while together and thought, this is so awesome. We wish other ed tech developers and other teachers were collaborating like this and letting us know about their experiences. So we created this community called EdTech Bridge. And EdTech Bridge lives mostly on Twitter. We also have a blog. We have a Google community. And we try to meet up in person at conferences. But it's mostly a Twitter thing. So we have a weekly chat on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern time, it's New York time. Um, and we have mostly our audiences from across the, the two coasts. We're very bicoastal. We have a lot of California and a lot of New York, New Jersey. And then we have a little bit of Midwest representation as well. And then a small international audience, mostly in the UK. And I think that's because of the time. So we're trying to figure out how to make this even broader. We'd love to hear, like Allison said, that since this uh, virtual conference already has an international presence, we, we want to be all inclusive. Um, and the kind of things that we talk about in EdTech Bridge, it varies from week to week, but it's always about bridging the gap between teachers and EdTech entrepreneurs. And that entrepreneur definition can be uh, expanded to include researchers. In fact, last night we even talked about involving parents in ed tech design and development. Um, so every week we have a different theme. And we are joined pretty uh, normally by half teachers and half ed tech folk. So we kind of do analysis on who joins us each week. And it is almost a 50-50 split every time, which is amazing. And throughout the past couple of months that we've been doing this since March, um, we've seen a lot of relationships foster outside of the chat. So for Steve and I, and I think Steve just joined us. Yeah, he says, shout out to EdTech Bridge. Um, so for Steve and I, our goal is really to, to run this community where people can communicate about this, but also to see people build relationships in EdTech Bridge and move them outside of EdTech Bridge. So we've seen teachers and EdTech developers connect in our Twitter chat. And then they go outside of the chat to actually do some real work together. Teachers piloting ed tech in their classrooms or working as a consultant with the ed tech developers uh, to give them feedback on their designs. So this is really, we view ed tech bridge as a starting point for collaboration. Um, and as Allison said, it's, it's greatly aligned to BrainPop's mission in bringing the teacher and the student voice into the designs of what we do. So that, in a nutshell, is EdTech Bridge. What's also on the screen right here is a link to our blog, um, which will see every, after every chat posts recaps of the chat so you can read through a few and see if it's something that you're interested in joining. And then also just a reminder that the Twitter chat Wednesdays at 7 PM. So we had one last night, for example, on involving parents in the process of um, creating and using EdTech in the classroom. And it was enlightening. What came out of that was a kind of a community cry for a need for professional development for parents um, when you're teaching about teachers about how to use EdTech in the classroom, maybe have a session for the parents, too, which I thought was a cool idea. So more ideas like that from EdTech Bridge. And uh, I think that is it from me. Passing it back to Allison. I think that's it from us, Steve. Just a big thank you again for joining, and we're super excited for Peter's session up next. Great. That was perfect. So you've got a couple minutes break. I'm going to put the link for Peter's session in the chat in one second when I can grab it for anybody who needs it. But otherwise, we'll see you throughout the day today or on in the chat on the website. Have a good, fun day, everybody. Bye.